Good morning, everyone. My name is Jody. My husband, David John, and I have a small farm in the panhandle of North Idaho. And these are our adventures. Today, I'm hoping to get all the waterfowl into their main pen. But first, I have to get some sort of covering, and I have an interesting idea on how I'm going to do that. But let's get these guys fed and watered. So the last couple days I have been scratching them in there, trying to get them to go in there on their own. I got most of the Muscovies in there, got roe and the three geese. Do have a couple chickens and a turkey I'll have to get out, but gonna get everybody fed and then I'll try to get the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Muscovy hens in. And then I'll put the cover thing since I was able to get this batch in. So let's get the rest of this feeding done. So what my plan is for covering this is I got 50 pound fishing line test weight and I'm going to run the fishing line from fence to fence because it should be strong enough to stay up there and small enough that the snow won't get stuck to it and then I'm going to take this old broken VHS tape and take pieces of the tape and hang it so to them it looks like there's a cover over it so since I got them in there started I'm going to get this cover on and cross our fingers that it works
So as you saw, the my kids, Darla and her boyfriend, fiance, Ian, stopped by and they were able to help me get the last of the girls in and little Lucky Duck. But in premise, this is to the birds, it's gonna look like it's got a cover on it. And I don't know how well the fishing line shows gonna show up on camera. I'll take you in so you can see it. But yeah, you can see, got the fishing line strung all the way across. And then the VHS tape, just for some movement to keep those beautiful flyers in. And tonight when it gets dark, I'll come out and collect the three hens that are in here. So the next step is going to be to grab a bale of straw. I've got to fill in behind you in their covered area and then over by the, the duck house. So let's get a bale of straw and get that started ready for winter.
Kind of get the muddy spots a little drier for them. Okay, girls, I got a champagne. Got to grab another bale.
That looks really good. We'll give them definitely a dry spot to be out of when it's snowing and raining, but they look kind of happy. So, gonna give them some fresh water, go check on the chickens. They will get, I gotta dig out their gate so I can close it tonight, but the two turkeys will go in with the chickens this winter. And because I do know one, if not both, of the geese are laying, not sure where they're gonna want to lay their eggs, I did fill those six nest boxes. So it's been a couple days since I put the fish line and the VCR tape up to keep the ducks in. I did have to catch two of the really small Muscovy hens because they just flew up and were roosting up there that first night. But after that, I've had none of them get out. Uh, take you over to the chicken turkey pen here in a minute. Have two very unhappy turkeys. I did wind up having to clip one of their wings because they would just kept flying out and not getting back in. And we're not getting snow, we're just getting a bunch of rain. So I'm gonna put some straw down on the front half of this pen and that was the reason that I clipped their wings so they would be able to get somewhere under cover. So let's get this straw down and I've got a treat for these guys when I'm done. some cabbage in the fridge and it was kind of going a little south so it's not bad bad but I figure give them a treat They're not too sure of me anymore since I've stuck them in their pen, but let's go check on the turkeys and chickens. And LeBron's is just pacing the fence.
Now she's not going to do it. Camera shy. And because we got rid of the all but one of the sequestered boys, David John just peeled that uh, piece of that fencing so they have access to both sides of the run. Probably should put another layer of straw over here and then some under their house there. And collect turkey eggs. Penny Penny. And right here is that opening I was telling you that he just rolled the, the fence back. And those two little ones are liking to have the White House over here to play in. And not as worried about spreading this out because the chickens will scratch through and get it spread out however they wanted, but it gives them another dry spot to be in when it's raining. And the five little roosters that I call the under the foot gang, they're finally getting brave and coming out. But like I said, the chickens will get this stuff and the turkeys all scratched and spread around. Probably have to be looking under there for turkey eggs. And if we are out and about, that's our kitty Yeti. He's usually not far. Doesn't look like they're too interested in that cabbage though. Maybe. Well, this is where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you all have a good day and a good week. And as always, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.